Honest guys, Bash here. Welcome to an Honest Day's punting. We're here at Aintree Racecourse for day two of the Grand National Meeting. A tricky day ahead, but we try our best as always. Let's hope we get some wins. Make sure you like, comment, and follow. Come on, boys. All right, lads, we kick things off in the opener. I really like Hiroko. I backed him at Shelton. He didn't do the business. I'm hoping he's come on for the run, but I'd like to see a bit more market support. He's out to 11 to 2. The red signs are up for him, it's not looking good. But I'm waiting for 860, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the fair. I know the way you're thinking in some multiples as well and do a forecast, him to beat Oroko, but hopefully Oroko can defy the odds and gets off the flyer. Come on, boys. Oh boy, good jump, good jump. Shanty Plastico looks good from here. Come on, John Joe! Get up for second! Get up for second! I'll take second. Get up for second! I'll take it. Yeah, 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 we'll take second. All right, the fave has pinged in, looked in trouble, found stamina, kicked in at the last. Iroko got up for second, five to one. We take the forecast, we take the each way money. It's not a bad run, we move, but we hope we hope Giovinco gets up okay. That's the number one uh, priority at the moment. All right, so we had 25 pound on the forecast, and it returned 210, and with the each way money, we make decent profit, and I had a nice double on the fab with Mystical Power, who is the big player of the day. And well, as we move on to the next, which is a big handicap, nothing I really like in here. I had a free bet on Champagne Twist, and I'm gonna back something blind quickly. They're about to go off. All right, lads, 30 quid each way. What's up, darling? 14 to one, Gordon Ellick, Jack Kennedy. No idea, not a race I wanna play, but we're in. Get one, boy. Turn in for home, we are second and fifth, but the skeleton clock job is going well. Come on, turn in for home, come on, Jack. What's up, darling? It has run a big race the last minute. Pick 30 each way, returned 114. Skeleton block job lands. We move on to the big one. Give up. All right, lads, we move on to the next. We're winnerless at the moment, but we've made profit on each race. But I'm all over Mystical Power. It'll be 800 fish if he wins, but I've also covered Mr. Jeff, apparently going well at home. We've had 25 quid on at nines. Hopefully, Mystical Power wins this. Lads, who wins? Joey, who wins this one? Mystical Power. Mystical Power. Firefox, probably the danger. Come on, boy. Come on, Power. Turn for home, we're fourth, I'm not going to lie, I don't love it, he's not jumped very well. Still travels though, come on Mark! Come on, that boy! All right, lads, we move on to the Melling Chase, and I've chanced Pip Dory here. I've done a nice treble. It was a Roco to finish top two. Mystical power win. 
and uh, pick Dory to finish top two. That returns 450, another 550 if he wins. The absolute limbs if pick Dory does win, but money's piling for John Bond. I think if he's on form, John Bond just goes in. Let's hope. I might see if I can cover something off with, some, with John Bond, but come on, boys. Pick Dory, it'll be limbs. Keen. Keen and Roy Allen. Lay it. <laughs> Up Come on! Oh boy. Come on! 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 Come Pick Dory just isn't jumping. Cobden keeps changing his hands, wants some more from him. Doesn't look like it's going to happen unless he finds. John Bond's countering here. Conflates it up front. Dory's gone back, found Zilch. Finish. Look at this! Look at this! Oh, he's Pick Dory never jumped, never travelled, wasn't to be. John Bond wins four fabs, the bookies have been taken to the cleaners. Thank you for watching, make sure you like, comment, and follow, and come back for part two when Honest Day's planting.